So today I've come to the NEC to have a look at the new BP Pulse Giga Hub. But already Google Maps has taken me the wrong way. But anyway, if you ignore Google Maps and follow the road signs, which I didn't see, it should take you to the right place. Which just there on the right, if you can just about see that, is the new BP Pulse charging hub. And there's one of the signs there, Starbucks drive through charging hub up here. There's the substation. And here we are. Wow, look at this place. I'm going to go right down to the end there. Take the CCS connector there. And then choose how you want to pay. So in this case I've used the BP Pulse app, which I've never used before. And then I click confirm. And that should now be charging. There we go. Didn't need to touch any buttons. So that's now charging my vehicle. So this is the new BP Giga Hub. So at this hub along here there is a row of 12 DC rapid chargers. They can each charge two vehicles at a time. They're 300 kilowatt units so charging each vehicle up to 150 kilowatt. And then along that side are a further three units, which are the same, but actually this one here is two units piggyback, so there's really 16 units, even though all the website, sat map and everything says there's 15, it's actually 16, and this one is two disabled bays. So if we look at this one, we have got dual CCS and CHAdeMO, on this one quite why you would need a dual there I'm not sure because you could only charge one vehicle here and then on the second bay you have got dual CCS there as well and this means there are a total of 30 DC rapid charging bays here there's a new Starbucks there as well next to this but then over in that car park there, there are 150 AC chargers there. So in total, this hub can charge 180 vehicles simultaneously. So what isn't clear about this site is the parking arrangements, because this is within the NEC. And if you've been to the NEC before, you'll know that it's a huge place. There's loads of car parks, but you have to pay. They've all got barriers. However, when you get here, the DC rapid chargers here aren't within a car park. So these are all free to access, very easy to access, as is the cost of coffee there. However, those AC destination chargers there, those 7 kilowatt chargers, are in a separate barriered car park. So if you want to use AC charging at this site, you do have to pay for parking. So this charging hub is no good if you've got an AC charging car like a Renault Zoe because if you want to use those AC chargers you have to pay for parking and you can't just pay for an hour, you have to pay for a day and it's 12 95 So um, from memory it was 8am to 6pm or 6pm to 8am in the morning and you have to pre-book online. 
So those charters over there are intended for visitors of the NEC, which is back over there. And then you can leave your car there all day because you've got to pay for all the car parks at this site. Um, and obviously you have to pay for the charging as well. So those are just for people that are coming here to a show or a conference and in, intending to leave their car there for many hours. Whereas the DC Rapid charges here are for people who are just passing by and want that quick top up. And I'll put the links in the video description below for the NEC parking. So each charging bay has CCS. A lot of the machines are dual headed CCS, but eight of them have both CCS and CHAdeMO. So you'll have CCS on one side and either CHAdeMO or CCS on the other. So a total of eight charging bays for CHAdeMO vehicles. So I feel that number of CHAdeMO connectors versus the CCS is about right for the proportion of the CHAdeMO vehicles in the UK and it just goes to show CHAdeMO isn't dead yet. New sites like this and other ones I've recently videoed and I'm on the channel are all still installing CHAdeMO. So these chargers are the same ones that Fastned use at Oxford and the Canopy is also solar as well. Even though there's a canopy, I'm still getting wet. Got wet getting out of the car and I'm standing obviously at the front of the car here and I'm still getting wet. So it's not like it's raining particularly hard or the rain's coming at a particular low angle. But anyway. And then right next door here well as you can see literally next door is where the power comes from there's the substation they've also got these digital advertising boards i guess they are scattered around as well there's one either side of the entrance there as well so now it's stopped raining let's have a look at these ac chargers so this is the entrance to that car park and they've got lots of signage here so as you can see if you want to pay when you turn up it's £17.95 wow but obviously if you book online beforehand you're going to get it for £12.95 would you really want to pay £18 to park your car here for the day as you can tell no one does but then maybe there's no events on or shows on at the NEC today. So it's 150 7 kilowatt AC chargers here. Majority of them are like this, where you have two chargers on one pole serving each of the bays. And uh, obviously, Type 2 7 kilowatt AC operated by BP Pulse. So obviously, if you come to the NEC to visit an event, you normally pay for parking. I think the last show I came to was the commercial vehicle show and I think it was £10 per car. Um, maybe it was 15 I can't quite remember. But anyway, if you're coming to the NEC, then yeah, you have to pay for parking. So if you're here all day, then this is great because you can charge your vehicle while you're here if you need it, of course. And um, it's completely understandable why a site like this has put so many AC chargers in because visitors to the NEC are usually parked up here for a day and we don't need loads and loads of DC rapid chargers for a place like this. But I do wonder if you did park here, how are you going to get to the NEC? Is the buses going to be coming around here to pick you up? Um, I guess they would be. Maybe if you pre-book they know and then they're going to... Um, drive the shuttle bus round to pick you up. There is obviously a bus stop here, there's another car park there, but if this car park isn't in use for an event, because there's car parks all around the site and they only open up certain car parks depending on which hall the event is in, but if you're parked all the way up here, how do you get to an event? But maybe I guess you can press the intercom and ask the bus to come and pick you up, but otherwise it could be quite a long walk. However, there are 22 other AC chargers scattered around the other car parks at the NEC, but only one or two chargers in each car park. So next, 
pricing, how much does the electricity cost? Well, I've been on the um, BP Pulse website and had a look at the pricing. So for these AC chargers, it is 59 pence per kilowatt hour. If you use the app or if you're a BP Pulse subscriber, because you can pay a subscription and get lower charging rates, it is 44 pence. But when it comes to using the DC rapid chargers, of course you pay more, which you would expect to, because these things are flipping expensive, because you've got to convert the AC to DC and these units, and of course all the infrastructure has all got to be paid for. So again, you've got different rates whether you use the app or contactless or whether you're a subscriber. So if you just use contactless payment on the terminal, whether that's a card or Apple Pay or Google Pay from your phone, you pay 85 pence per kilowatt hour. If you use the app as I did, you get it for 83 pence. But if you're a BP Pulse subscriber, you get it for 69 pence. But I hope that price will start coming down soon. It has with some of the other networks as the wholesale price has started to drop. But anyway, great place to see. This is the future of EV charging, 180 charging bays at a single location. So being able to charge, well, DC rapid charge, 30 cars simultaneously doesn't make this the largest DC charging hub in the UK. That will be Banbury, where I think there was 34. Anyway, 30 something. If you want to watch that video, I'll put a link to it at the top of the screen and in the video description below. But with the 30 DC bays here and the 150 AC bays over there, certainly does make this the largest charging hub in the UK for now. And if you want to see other videos I've made of uh, charging hubs and other um, UK charging infrastructure videos, have a look at the playlist in the video description below as well. Right. I'm going to disconnect. And get on my way. So if you found this video useful, as always, please do click the thumbs up button. That really does help. Do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video.